Welcome back to the John Trading Channel. You can see that Bitcoin had a major crash overnight, finally breaking below this support level that we've been talking about for many weeks. But there's a key reason why the crypto crashed, so make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video. Ethereum is looking slightly more bullish than Bitcoin. It also had this major move to the downside, but it's actually come back into this support area and it's never broken below. So this is going to be very key to see if we can get a break below this level, meaning we are going to continue lower. Let's go over exactly why crypto crashed. SEC claims Solana, ADA, Matic, Phil, Adam, Sand, Mana, Algo, AXC. Let's go over exactly why crypto crashed. SEC claims Solana, ADA, Matic, Phil, Atom, Sand, Mana, Algo, AXS are all securities. Ethereum is never mentioned as a security. The crypto assets traded on the Binance.com platform and Binance.us platform include assets that were offered and sold as securities. Since the Binance platform's launch, Defendants have made available for trading on them crypto assets that are offered and sold as investment contracts and thus as securities. This includes, but is not limited to, Binance Coin, BUSD and the units of each of the crypto assets further described below with the trading symbols SOL, ADA, MATIC, Phil, Atom, Sand, MANA, ALGO and AXS known as Axie Infinity. The US Securities and Exchange Commission is suing Binance and its CEO CZ for breaking securities laws and commingling billions of customer funds in the US entity controlled by its owner. Binance said they're ready to defend its platform. You can see that the SEC is coming after the owner of Binance, CZ, but he's not going to be backing down. Because of this news, crypto crashed a massive 5% just overnight and a lot of stops were in this area. People were expecting to never go below this area. And you can see now, a lot of these stops were actually hit in the market. On-chain data shows that over $320 million has been liquidated in the past 24 hours. Mostly all long positions, especially when you're trying to go long in this area. We were having a lot of support, looking like we were going to make that upside break. But we can, when we get these major news movements showing that Binance is being sued by the SEC, this basically doesn't matter how bullish the chart looks. And that's why you can never be 100% in the charts. You can never say this pattern is going to be 100% move this way or move that way because it literally only takes one person in the market for this massive news to come out and then we get that major selling and that's why trading is never 100%. So it's showing that major liquidations in the past 24 hours. We can also see here that 10K Bitcoin has left Binance so far today, the third biggest outflow this year. Let's see if Binance can continue with the draws and I do believe that Binance will have withdrawals and they'll be absolutely fine, although you don't wanna be really betting on it, but they do have a fund called the Seifu Fund which is actually sort of an insurance policy to try and keep all of your coins safe. The true only way to keep your coins safe is to hold them in your own ledger, in your own custodian wallet. You can see here the exchange balance on Binance had a massive drop. As much as the price did have a little bit of a drop, we had a pretty big drop here as well, going from over 700,000 Bitcoin down to less than 700,000, close to that 695,000 Bitcoin available on the exchange. So you can see here long short positions on BTC. Overall, BTC is 45% long and 54% short, but on specific exchanges like Binance, 46% of people are long, nearly 54% of people are short, even less people on OKX, roughly 44% are long, and a lot of other big exchanges also showing very similar numbers here, roughly that 44% long, 56% shorts. And this is absolutely crazy. On June the 1st, Hong Kong government approves trading for the following tokens. Yet on June the 5th, SEC sues Binance for having markets for very similar assets. Look, Sand, ADA, Matic, Sol, Axie Infinity, Atom, and obviously a few different ones as well that aren't included in the actual suing of Binance. So it just shows that we had massively bullish momentum on one end and now we're having this massively bearish momentum on another end. It's definitely not over for crypto, but in the short term, it definitely looks like we're going to have some bearish momentum to continue and follow on from this news. And lastly, in Bitcoin news, pro-Bitcoin US presidential candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. said the US dollar is being threatened with losing its status as the world reserve currency. As you would know, a lot of countries like Russia and China are definitely going away from the US dollar, trying to create their own forms of currency, trying to trade in their own, own currencies as well, such as the yuan or the, or the Russian ruble. So 
They're definitely straying away from the US dollar. They're definitely not interested in the US dollar after they're seeing the debt ceiling raise. They're going to be printing trillions and trillions of more dollars in circulation in the next few years. And not many countries are very interested in the US dollar. And that's why I truly believe in Bitcoin and some cryptocurrencies. The SEC sues Binance, unveils 13 charges against crypto exchange in a sweeping lawsuit. So the US regulators have targeted yet another giant in the crypto world. The security and Exchange Commission have filed 13 charges against Binance, the world's top cryptocurrency exchange, as well as against its billionaire co-founder, CZ, who is widely known as CZ. It's the latest string of actions to take against the US crypto companies. In a lawsuit filed by the US District Court for the District of Columbia, the SEC accused Zhao and his company of misleading investors about Binance's ability to detect market manipulation, as well as using as well as misusing customer funds and sending some of that money to a company controlled by CZ. SEC also accused Binance of running an unregistered trading platform in the US and allowing US customers to trade crypto on an exchange that's supposed to be off limits to US investors. Let's now take a quick look at Bitcoin and Ethereum and then we'll take a deeper dive into some altcoins right now. So you can see that Bitcoin with this upper trend line is definitely using it as a resistance level. This would have been decently in hindsight, a decent level to short, especially with this exponential moving average was basically always to the downside, showing that there's a high probability of more downside movement. We were trying to come sideways and basically get this tick up and you can see we just continued to the downside. So a lot of these people selling in these areas, as I've been speaking about, this is the value zone between the short and medium term exponential moving average. They're definitely licking their lips right now and they're extremely happy. A lot of their profits would have been taken in this area because they know that there's a lot of stops in this area. You can also see we had a bit of an uptick on the MACD histogram, but instantly now back down below the zero line, not looking extremely bullish at this current moment. There's also this strong support right in this area. We had a really strong support. All support through this area. We've got a breakup support again. It's all supported in this area. And now we really got that proper breakdown. And this support level is no longer really valid, at least on the short term right now. What potentially could happen is this could be used as a resistance level. As you would know, a lot of times when we get this really solid breakout to the downside, say we come up back and retest this level before then continuing even more to the downside. So that's definitely a play that is looking like could happen in the market since we got this major breakdown. But we also need to be careful that this breakdown is not basically a major fake out. A lot of the times you get a fake out below this area then what will happen, you get a flood. A lot of people had their stops here. So if you were going long in this area, hoping for higher pushes to the upside, a lot of people would have left their stops here. And that's basically could potentially be a run. People are stop hunting. They stop a lot of positions out before it then rockets to the upside majorly. So we just need to keep an eye on Bitcoin and see what moves are likely to happen. Now, moving over to Ethereum. Ethereum was in a very similar instance, although it's slightly looking more bullish than Bitcoin. Through this area, we still have this strong support level. We still haven't closed below this support, whereas Bitcoin closed here and it's actually closed here right now. We're not getting that close uh, completely below its support level just yet. And as you can see, the EMA is slightly more bullish. We did have this uptick on the EMA. This was a decent level to get into the market. And then we did have a flush below. So we're still holding we're still holding this support level. The exponential moving average has began ticking to the downside. This MACD histogram has been massively bullish above the zero line, a lot more than Bitcoin, but you can see now we did have a break below the zero line, now going red. The, the, another thing is, is this trading uh, trend channel right here. So we connect the highs through here. So that would actually be, yeah, we've been confirmed that we've broken out of this channel. Unless literally the next candle day can close back above this level, then uh, it wouldn't be bullish anymore because we did have a break above. We then used it as support, looking like we were not only supporting off the 20 exponential moving average, also supporting off the trend line, looking for higher moves. Coming down here wouldn't have been too fine, but now getting a close, once you get a close outside of that trend channel, it now becomes to, it basically is invalidated at this point. Let's actually take a look at Binance coin, which had a major hit. A lot of cryptocurrencies are down five, maybe 6%. Even Ethereum is down somewhere around four and a half percent. Look at Binance coin, over a 10% drop just overnight. And you can see why, because of this CZ news coming out and everything, Binance coin took one of the biggest hits out of everything else. So you can even see connecting these trend highs, you can see that this was a perfect, the exponential moving average was traveling down. There was no upside ticks. We came back, retested this trend line before we made a really solid move to the downside. So 
definitely a potential trade looking now in hindsight definitely adding this to the trading bank and actually understanding what's happening let's move over to Seoul see how Seoul is actually doing although Seoul is is definitely in this bearish movement see Seoul moved around eight percent to the downside so definitely a big move on Seoul all those coins that were listed on the filing like such as Binance coin Seoul uh, Atom and all those coins definitely had some of the biggest hits because they were seen as basically not secure or they are securities and now they're being targeted specifically but even in this area if you think we still haven't broken below this trend line trading channel like we have um, on Ethereum we actually literally supported offer it's only when we get a close below that I would be scared but even on this coin um, on Solana still looking decent and still looking like some upside movements even, even coming over and looking at the MACD histogram even though we had this major move to the downside never actually down tick below the zero line on the MACD histogram there is a few points to show me that we're potentially not completely bearish yet but after this massive candle it is very very hard uh, to be still bullish so even coming over to um, XRP see XRP only had a 5% movement to the downside it had a major wick we're definitely above this trend line we would need to come back into this area down here to even look to be bearish so right now we're definitely still above the trend line right now basically a lot of people buying in this area reason being it's the um, value zone between the short term and the medium term exponential moving average so as soon as people came into this area they were looking for those bullish pushes to the upside even got a quick three to five percent to have four percent on that trade just a quick scalp um, so there's plenty of trades available right now let's now take a quick look at mana which is the decentraland coin even though every coin that was listed is basically down 10 percent or more uh, and a lot of the other coins are not that weren't listed so even doing a bit of a trend line we're still we had a break above this now to break support break we're even coming back for a support level so a lot of these coins are not looking absolutely bearish that they are definitely not going to zero but a lot of these coins are definitely not um, looking overall, overall as bullish as they were just a couple of days ago. So that's all I have for you for today's video. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment if you're enjoying these daily crypto videos. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.